Greetings. This is an important planetary forecast that highlights significant events upcoming this December. This month's supermoon and a series of major planetary square aspects could initiate major geophysical events felt this month. This video will highlight three zones of interest that may be affected. Seems that the emergence and perihelion of Comet 3i Atlas has caused somewhat of a lull in earthquake activity in the month of November. Now Comet 3i Atlas is reaching its closest approach to Earth just after mid-December. Now we had six X-class solar flares in November and the same active region is set to return to the solar disk at the start of the month so we may see further X-class solar flares as well as the potential for high levels of geophysical events throughout December. We're now focusing on the important astronomical events for the month. Note that we get the important supermoon on the 4th of December and followed just three days later by the key Moon-Jupiter conjunction. Now the Moon-Jupiter conjunction will be supported and enhanced by Mercury reaching its greatest elongation so the first week of December is highly amplified and significant and it should be some very powerful geophysical events to follow. Now we get just one planetary alignment this month. Mercury will make a fast opposition of Uranus on the 10th but importantly we get six very powerful planetary square aspects. Mars, Sun and Venus will be having interactions and squares with both Saturn and Neptune. When you consider that Saturn and Neptune are merging and coming to their conjunction, it should be an interesting month in terms of geophysical events based on the closeness of both Saturn and Neptune. Neptune will complete its retrograde on December 10th where it will station and then turn direct motion. Neptune and Saturn were about to conjoin in July but both made retrogrades and separated briefly. They'll now be coming together from this point on until February and their conjunction. Now it must be mentioned that the December supermoon is quite powerful. It's fairly close to the November supermoon, just 129 kilometers in separation in terms of distance to the Earth. So the lunar influence will be extremely powerful and it will continue right throughout the end of the year. At the time of making this video, no major earthquakes have been reported greater than 7 magnitude in the month of November. Therefore the solar activity has overshadowed earthquake events quite significantly, not only with six X-class solar flares but also major geomagnetic storms as well as a proton event. Now the month of December is a vastly different planetary setup. We get six dangerous planetary squares that could set off sudden disruptive geophysical events and the second supermoon of 2025 could actually end off the year with a significant bang. We're now looking at the important lunar aspects taking place for the month and focusing on the simultaneous interactions where we get multiple alignments of the Moon on a given day and we get that four times in December. On the 4th we get connections of Uranus and Venus with the Moon. Also on the 22nd Pluto and also Jupiter will have connections with the Moon but importantly Saturn and Neptune will be making oppositions and conjunctions on the 12th and 27th of the month and these are important time frames with the lunar influence. It must be mentioned that the important Moon-Jupiter conjunction taking place on December 7 will be highly significant. Not only does the supermoon have a very large earthquake potential, but also the Moon-Jupiter conjunction carries this as well. So we have a significant threat for a major event the first week of December, and Jupiter will be starting to be exalted in terms of planetary influence. Jupiter will be highly potent in December as well as January we will be making a series of planetary oppositions. So we do need to closely monitor the motion and movement of Jupiter the next few months. We are going to focus on three areas in the globe that may be affected for major geophysical events in the month of December based on astrocartography which plots the planets to the Earth geodetically. We are going to be making a forecast for a potential 7 magnitude earthquake for South America the first week of December. This is due to a series of planetary aspects focused over the region which highlights southern Peru, Bolivia, Argentina or Chile for a major event. But we have a series of planetary aspects Mars will be squaring Saturn which will have a strong focus over South America. We also have the Sun squaring the lunar nodes which will act as a trigger not only due to the supermoon and the Moon-Jupiter conjunction but we have a culmination of planetary aspects all focused over the South America region the first week of December. We're now going to be focusing on another time frame just after the first week of the month and this is around mid-month. This is all focused on the Venus connection with the lunar nodes at square aspect. Now this is a key time frame. I'm focused around the region of Gujarat, India or potentially further north towards Afghanistan for a major earthquake and this will be probably greater in magnitude up to 7.5 magnitude. Definitely something to watch and we do have a very strong symmetry with a Jupiter station that occurred previously in 2025 and has a very strong symmetry to the 2001 earthquake and I'm concerned of a strong quake around the India region during this time frame.
Now this forecast is highlighting the Venus square position of the lunar node. Now the previous time Venus hit this position was late in July of 2025 just prior to the major earthquake that struck Kamchatka in Russia which was forecast in the newsletter. So I'm concerned that this may actually represent an earthquake potential or an aftershock for Kamchatka due to the reconnection of Venus into the lunar nodes. Now, there has been some strong shaking since the magnitude 8.8 earthquake for the Kamchatka region, but we are short a couple of earthquakes in terms of aftershocks for the region, so there may be one more to come in the month of December due to Venus connecting back into the lunar nodes at square aspect. And that concludes this video presentation regarding the planetary influences that will be in play in the month of December of 2025. For more information, please visit solarwatcher.net and quakewatcher.com where we more information for members and subscribers as well as website newsletters and astrocartography videos. Thanks for watching.